everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a video on a huge problem going on in the LEGO community right now, and that is fake LEGO. As you can see here, I have about 20 different LEGO minifigures that are not actually LEGO at all. They're just knockoff fake LEGO. I'm making this video because I want to give awareness to people who may not know they're buying fake LEGO. I actually did a haul video opening all these LEGO minifigures and it was just kind of a fun prank video so if you want to check it out you can check that out in the cards. When I bought these parts like I knew they were not real LEGO and I was okay with that because I wanted to do this video but if I was at like a comic con and I bought a fake LEGO minifigure thinking it was real LEGO I'd be pretty ticked off and I think everybody else would be too and the problem is like I'm a diehard Lego fan and I can spot a mile away a fake Lego minifigure, but kids or adults who aren't into Lego won't be able to spot a fake Lego minifigure. So then they'll end up wasting their hard-earned money on fake Lego minifigures. Some people aren't going to care, but you know what? I do and I think a lot of people do, so that's why I want to get the word out. These Lego minifigures came directly from China, where all the fake Lego minifigures come from, and they came completely unassembled and individually bagged in a bag. So I'm going to open this one up here, and I'm going to assemble it and try to show you my first thoughts on assembling this fake Lego minifigure. So I'll assemble the pants first. First thing I notice is there's a hole in the minifigure pant right here, where it goes up too far. That leg went on very easy. And so did that one. But I noticed they're very... I've already opened up a minifigure, so I don't know what I'm doing. But they don't stay on. As you can see, every time I turn them, they slowly come off. I'll assemble the arms here. They go in easy enough. The head was a bit tougher to go on. The arms are very difficult to put on. And then the pants just go on way too easy. It's kind of funny because when I opened up this minifigure in that haul video I did of it, this one was so hard to put on, yet this one was pretty easy. It's just weird because the quality isn't the same. Opening another minifigure up here, very difficult to get these on. The quality is not the same for each minifigure and it completely varies, which obviously is a red flag because LEGO's quality is pretty much the same throughout. Right off the bat, I'm going to give you my first impressions on how I knew these LEGO minifigures were a fake. Well, first things first, the hips are actually sticking out over the edge of the minifigure, and the little line here doesn't go the full length of the torso. That's a big no-no. These pieces are incredibly difficult. It is so hard to move these joints, and when you do move the joint, you can see like little spots of plastic where it looks like they're not fully formed. The minifigures don't stay on the pants very well. It is very easy to take the pants off. The faces look a lot bolder and have a little bit more detail, I find, than the official LEGO minifigures. They just have more exaggerated detail, I guess you could say, like longer eyebrows and bigger eyes. These minifigures are taller than official LEGO minifigures. Not very much, but they are indeed a little bit taller, as you can see by the artist here. As you can see, even the printing on the torso is very, very close. If you're at like a convention or an event and you see Lego minifigures for sale for really cheap or even normal price, I would just suggest you pop the head off and check to make sure it says Lego on it. When you pop the head off these knockoff minifigures, it comes off very easy and there's absolutely no printing there, nothing that says Lego. These minifigures even just have a different feel than Lego minifigures. They feel kind of rough plasticky and Legos feels nice and smooth and they're just definitely better quality minifigures. They look pretty close, but these ones, the Lego ones are definitely better. Another thing I've noticed is these knockoff minifigures put weird holes in the top of all their hat accessories. All in all, these are not good LEGO minifigures, and I really recommend not buying them. I think as a LEGO community, we really need to get the word out about these knockoff LEGO minifigures. I recommend either sharing this video or creating your own video showcasing these minifigures and letting people know what to look for and how you know they're not real LEGO minifigures. As you can see, I have like 20 of these LEGO minifigures, and I don't need them because I don't want knockoff LEGO. So if you want to make a video on these knockoff minifigures, please send me an email and I'll send you like a minifigure for free. 
I really hope you found this video informative, and I really hope this hel helps you not to buy fake knockoff Lego. Thanks everybody for watching, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching this Brick Lover 18 Lego video. If you enjoyed this video and you want to subscribe for all Lego all the time, click the subscribe brick and you'll subscribe to our channel. If you want to see more of our previously uploaded Lego YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there containing all our videos. If you want to see more Brick Lover 18, head on over to BrickLover18.com where you'll find the links to our Twitter and our Instagram and our Brick Link. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like on this video as well as a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already by clicking the subscribe brick. Thanks everybody for watching and I hope you have a great day.